TCS Manual Testing Interview Questions and Answers What is manual testing? Manual testing is the process of testing software manually to find defects without the use of automation tools. Testers execute test cases step by step to ensure the application behaves as expected. What are the advantages of manual testing over automated testing? Manual testing allows for exploratory testing, where testers can use their intuition and domain knowledge to uncover defects that automated tests might miss. It's also beneficial in scenarios where the application's user interface frequently changes. What is a test case? A test case is a set of conditions or variables under which a tester will determine whether a system under test satisfies requirements or works correctly. What are the key components of a test case? Test case ID, description, preconditions, test steps, expected results, actual results, pass slash fail status, notes. What is the difference between a test case and a test scenario? A test scenario is a high-level description of what to test, while a test case is a detailed procedure for testing one specific aspect of the software. What is the difference between verification and validation? Verification ensures that the software is developed according to its specification, while validation ensures that the software meets the customer's requirements. What is the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing? Smoke testing is a preliminary test to check if the most critical functions of a software work, whereas sanity testing is performed after a specific change to ensure that the new functionality works as expected and the existing functionalities haven't been affected adversely. What is regression testing? Regression testing is the process of testing changes to a software application to ensure that existing functionalities still work as intended after the changes. What is black box testing? Black box testing is a testing technique where testers evaluate the functionality of an application without knowing its internal code structure. Testers focus on the inputs and outputs of the software. What is white box testing? White box testing is a testing technique where testers evaluate the internal workings of an application's code. Testers have access to the source code and design tests based on that knowledge. How do you prioritize test cases? Test cases can be prioritized based on factors like business impact, frequency of use, complexity, risk, and dependencies. What is boundary testing? Boundary testing is a software testing technique in which tests are designed to include values at the boundaries between partitions or equivalence classes. What is the difference between positive testing and negative testing? Positive testing aims to verify that a system works as expected with valid inputs, while negative testing checks how the system behaves with invalid or unexpected inputs. How do you report a defect? Defects should be reported with clear steps to reproduce, expected results, actual results, screenshots, if applicable, severity level, and any additional relevant information. How do you handle conflicting priorities during testing? It's important to communicate with stakeholders and prioritize based on the impact of the conflicting priorities on the project goals. Escalate to management if necessary. What is the purpose of a test plan? A test plan outlines the scope, approach, resources, and schedule for testing activities. It serves as a roadmap for the testing process. What is the difference between functional testing and non-functional testing? Functional testing verifies that the software functions as expected, while non-functional testing evaluates aspects like performance, usability, security, and scalability. Explain the concept of equivalence partitioning. Equivalence partitioning is a testing technique where input data is divided into partitions and one representative value from each partition is chosen as a test case. It helps reduce the number of test cases while still providing adequate coverage. What is the purpose of a traceability matrix? A traceability matrix maps requirements to test cases, ensuring that all requirements are covered by test cases and vice versa. It helps in tracking the completeness of testing. How do you ensure thorough test coverage? 
Test coverage can be achieved by identifying test scenarios from requirements, prioritizing them based on risk, and ensuring that each scenario is covered by test cases. Techniques like boundary value analysis and equivalence partitioning can also help achieve comprehensive coverage. What is the difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing? Ad hoc testing is unplanned and unstructured testing performed without any formal test documentation, while exploratory testing is a structured approach to simultaneous learning, test design, and execution. How do you decide when to stop testing? Testing can be stopped when the predefined exit criteria are met, such as achieving a certain level of test coverage, meeting quality goals, and completing all planned tests within the allocated time and resources. What is the purpose of a test environment? A test environment is a setup that mimics the production environment where testing activities are conducted. It ensures that tests are performed under conditions similar to those encountered in the real world. How do you handle test data management? Test data management involves creating, maintaining, and securing test data used in testing activities. It's important to ensure data privacy, accuracy, and relevancy while managing test data. What is usability testing? Usability testing evaluates how user-friendly a software application is by observing real users interacting with it. Testers gather feedback on the application's ease of use, efficiency, and satisfaction. How do you conduct regression testing in an agile environment? In agile environments, Regression testing is often automated and integrated into the continuous integration and continuous deployment CI /CD, pipeline. Test automation scripts are executed whenever there's a new code change to ensure that existing functionalities haven't been impacted. What are some common challenges faced during manual testing? Common challenges include time constraints lack of comprehensive test coverage, maintaining test documentation, communication gaps between teams, and handling dynamic requirements. How do you prioritize defects for fixing? Defects can be prioritized based on factors like severity, impact on end users, frequency of occurrence, and business impact. Critical defects affecting core functionalities are typically prioritized for immediate fixing. Explain the difference between sanity testing and smoke testing. Sanity testing is a narrow and deep approach to testing specific functionalities, while smoke testing is a wide and shallow approach to testing basic functionality across the entire system. How do you handle situations where requirements are incomplete or ambiguous? In such situations, it's important to collaborate with stakeholders to clarify requirements and document assumptions. Testers can also use their domain knowledge and experience to make educated guesses and create test cases based on available information.